Timaras 10, 9. Three NASA astronauts who are Missouri S&T alumni share their very different experiences about going into outer space from the thrill of liftoff and orbiting the planet to reentry. My first three flights I was on the mid-deck going up and coming home on the flight deck. Of course the flight decks where all the controls and switches and everything are. If you're on the mid-deck you're literally just a passenger. On the mid-deck you get strapped in really early uh, and so you're down there, what, two hours or more? And my first flight, I was by myself. I didn't, I, nobody else down there with me. Oh, bummer. Well, actually, it wasn't bad. I went to sleep, you know. I kind of surprised <laughs> my, you know, it was, and so does it cross your mind that, hey, what you're doing, you know, this, you know, this might not go well, and of course you hope, but you don't dwell on it. The very first mission, 112, right after Miko, main engine cutoff, uh, I was in charge of opening the payload bay doors. And I opened the payload bay doors, and that was really the first time that I had a chance to see the Earth from space, and it was a shot of the horizon. And without even thinking, without even pausing, the first words out of my mouth were, oh my gosh, our atmosphere is so thin. And, and you know that intellectually, because you can do the calculations and figure out what, you know, where the oxygen starts to thin out in our atmosphere. But to see it is a whole nother level of, of understanding. And there's this very thin, incredibly thin eggshell of air that surrounds our planet. And just don't take that for granted. And from space it looks very fragile and it's very obvious that this is our spaceship and we need to take care of it and that has stuck with me ever since. I would when try to every night before bed, even though we were past bedtime on the schedule, mm -hmm. try to you know, put headsets on and look out at night especially is my favorite time when you could pass over the earth at night and see if you could recognize land masses by the city lights and they mm -hmm. would outline especially Europe and Italy is perfectly outlined in the Mediterranean and, and seeing lightning storms at night I think are one, that was one of my fondest memories of just wishing you could share the sights you're seeing with your family. The most interesting thing about re-entry is you understand what gravity is. I mean, you've been floating for 10 days or 12 days or four months. I remember thinking as we were coming in, as, as I was feeling my weight and feeling heavier and heavier, it's like, my goodness, how can we do anything on this planet? How can we accomplish anything with this force, this powerful, pervasive, obnoxious force just pinning us to the planet and trying to squish us like bugs? The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time.